Where is you? We're going to the vet. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> In my world, it's more behaviour because the only thing that will prevent will be crossplane surgery. So okay. it's more, it's more for um, takes the rough edges off and put them that way. It makes them better family pets. For instance, yeah. if you've got young children around the place, I certainly wouldn't have a hundred six mile rock while we're around because yeah. they tend to be, they tend to act towards people like they would act towards other dogs. So through their eyes, we just look fun to kill the dogs. So yeah. there's no such thing as a democracy in the animal kingdom. There's always a pecking order. So if they don't respect you, they'll try and put you in their place. So and that usually involves body language to start off with, but if you don't heed the language, body language, and then just ramp it up to them, they'll be actually yeah. so, so would you that's suggest... what kids get into. Do you smell all the doggies? Hold up, bud. Yeah, yeah, very well. Yeah. It's so well with his needle. Yeah. Belly of a fish. Why are you acting Hey guys, welcome back. Hello. Um, so, just to give you an update, we haven't been making a lot of videos, unfortunately. So, at the moment, what we're doing is going to look at a few jet skis because it's coming into summer in Australia and we live right Some near the sleds. lake. So, we're going to go and look at a few jet skis. We just took Odin to get his first, his second, his 10 week needles and he did really, really well. He was more impatient than anything else because he's so inquisitive and just wants to smell everything. But the vet was really, really good. It was over and done with in in three. He didn't even know what happened because he yeah. was so smooth with it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll show you about the jet skis. Yeah. Bye. Hopefully, guys, we can take you in there. Like, I'm not sure what they look, might be like, like with filming and stuff like that. But we'll try and see what we can do with that. Most of them are just going to be like sort of looking. We're going to compare like, the Kawasaki and the Sea Doo um, and just sort of compare those two and see which one looks better. And... Um, also, super update, let me know if you guys want to have an update of the super, so I've got some um, uh, build coming of that, and um, that should be cool. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was a quick in and out trip. We were in there for what, five minutes? Five minutes. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not, they're not, they're not. Guys don't really like the Kawasaki, I mean, you know, some people might like them and, and that, but compared to the Cedar that we went and looked at yeah. last weekend, um, their styling and things like that, and just like the, the quality, the buttons and stuff, the touch and stuff, it felt like really plasticky and flimsy. Yeah, we're all about that click. <laughs> and they're not, they're not cheap. Like you're not paying like cheap money for like that to get that kind of quality, if you know what I mean. So you want something that's kind of decent. Um, so we're going back now to have a look at the Sea Doo again that we looked at last weekend because they've got like a demo or a special one. It's on much there. better looking too. But it's not like my favourite colour, so I don't know what I should do because like I like the black one that they have with the gold, but they have a silver and red one there which is heaps cheaper. It's like four grand cheaper. So I'm like, do I really want to have like what colour I want or do I really like? Ah! So I don't know. So we're just going back there now to kind of compare and. Um, yeah, the guy, he, he was okay, like, it's nothing against Kawasaki and that, that's just my opinion, and, um, I didn't really, yeah, I didn't really like them the best, so, anyway. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. So, guys, we have some news. Um, we didn't film this one, because maybe we'll keep it a surprise for the next video, or maybe we should go and so, um, of when we pick it up, but we did buy a jet ski and we were very stoked. So yeah, the one we wanted. Yeah. Um, this is the colour, everything that we wanted, and we as we couldn't have um, we couldn't have had like a better salesperson. The guy that looked after us was so helpful. Um, he took us through, told us everything that we wanted to know. We got a good deal on it. Yeah. Um, got some goodies and stuff. So I really can't like can't I can't express how like I excited I am. I just want to pick it up. Um, already, um, I really, yeah, I'll just show you guys when we pick it up and that, but <laughs> I just want to pick it up already. Yeah, we'll take you through a ride when we get it. Yeah. Alright. Hi, Cody. Cody? Yeah. He's just like, no, play with me, play with me. <laughs> and then he gets all jealous. Hello, my girl.
She gets him, eh? Mm. That was the strongest one out of them. He's stronger, but she's taller and much quicker. Run. I can't run. Get him. Run the other way. Oh! Well done, Tata. So, pretty much what's happening now is the vet told us that Odin can only play with other dogs that have been vaccinized, vaccinized, immunized, vaccinated, immunized. vaccinated, immunized. So the only other dog that we know has been immunized is his little sister, which is really cool because she's really cute. Um, her name's Kodak. Uh, Kodak, and then it's his sister. And so our friends playing. bought him, so bought her, so they'll always hopefully stay pretty close. But they literally cute. just go at it until they literally just can't keep their eyes open and then they pass out. Bye, Which is really cute. Right, now. They literally... <laughs> and it's just so funny because they're so like similarly um, matched in like size and like they weigh almost the same and the same age and stuff like that. So, yeah. so we got um... Odin Wade and he weighs... 10.8 kilos and he's 10 weeks today which is the same and she weighs 9 kilos yeah. so like yeah we picked the biggest one we didn't know that um we didn't know that he was coming over she was coming over i should say but um it was a cool surprise so we thought oh crap i'll just grab the um, camera and film that it was a cool little uh cool little surprise for you guys so, yeah, i think that'll be the end of the i think that'll be the end of the video for today mm -hmm. Until we um, fill them in with the jets. So it's been a pretty hectic day. It's been a really hectic day. <laughs> time for a sleep. Yeah, time yeah. for a nap. And then we might go see a movie or something. But yeah, till next time. Peace. Pretty juicy. Got it all hooked up to the car. Just take it out. Shout out to Bryson's been looked after it's pretty good, so super stoked with it. Got the speakers. I'm gonna take it out pretty soon. Rip on it. Be awesome. So guys, just got it home. Um battery sort of died on the way home. I was actually gonna film a little bit of putting it in the water and that because I actually took it through a little bit of a rip um, today. It was awesome. The speakers and everything so fast. Um, actually they've really sort of hit I'm not trying to hold on to it and that. But um, what I'm going to do is in the next couple of weeks I'm coming back from holidays. Um, me and I'm just going away on holidays and then um, going to film some videos and content of it and let me know if you guys want to see some stacks because i'm definitely going to stack it that's for sure awesome i'm pretty stoked with the purchase even got triple eight plates which is really good so yeah i'll uh catch you guys in the next one I'll probably do like a super update so we've got some news about um uh, got some news about that and um we're gonna have to do an update of um m's dog odin and um, yeah, I got some pretty cool super news. And oh, next weekend, I think we're going down to the Mighty Car Mods um, car meet. And I'm maybe going to be entering the Supra in the drag race. So hopefully, you can get like the suction mount for the GoPro mounted on there. And um, I think that should be some pretty good footage. So stay tuned for that. Bloody okay. city. But yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be fit for uh, this video. So, um, Stay tuned for the next one, so you can good content coming, alright guys? Peace!